Hello guys, Lee here with Lee. Yes, yeah. all the Lees um, at Winton Am. And we are at the Ashdown Sound and we are, it's, it's Sunday and we can hear our, ourselves think and talk, which is lovely. First time this week, isn't it? Man, yeah, yeah. it's really nice. So we can just chat through some stuff, man. Yeah. So we've got some new gear. We and have got some new bits. What's going on, man? Okay, well, as we're around I'm here. gonna, I, I think, can we show, I know this can is this is probably from last down? year, but actually, yeah, yeah. this is a really cool little head, with a really good little price point. So yeah. we'll talk the guys through, through this first thing. Okay, well, this is the little original head, uh, which is a 300 watt tiny little amp. Uh, which is just ridiculous for the size of it. Yes. You've got a five band EQ, you've got an input, you've got a shape, you've got an effects yeah. loop, you've got a DI, so it's a proper gigging little machine. Everything you need. Um, yeah, and it retails around about £3.29 uh, in our land. And Great. It's killer because you just stick it in the gig bag, take it along. Uh, yeah. Very, very versatile little head as well. Um, sounds great. So it's been a real, really, really great amp for us. Um, nice mate. And then from there you sort of expanded yeah, now into Yeah, well I mean everybody seemed combos. to love that so much it, it made sense to kind of do a couple of combos. Great. Um, so these are brand new for the show. These are going to be in stores around about April time. Love it. Um, and we've got a 210 version with the little head up there. Now these can either kick back so you can hear it as a monitor as it were, or oh, flip forward. obviously flip them forward and you can stand them up like a traditional combo. Yeah, nice. But the kickback thing's quite cool because obviously if you're playing a little gig Really, really easy to hear yourself. Yeah. Um, and as well as the 210 one, there's a little 112 one, one on the end, which is a real cutie. That and is this, cute, isn't it? Yeah, and that weighs around about 12 kilos. Yeah, we can have a little look. It's just yeah, I mean, you're getting you a, three, around. a 300 watt combo. <laughs> Which in this little size, kilos. So, can I just ask as well? Is that 300 watts just in the 210 setup, or is yeah, it yeah, yeah? Well, this one actually, they're, they're, they're both different because this one is actually running the full power into itself. So this is 300 watts at all times through oh, the 210s. Okay. Right. Okay. You can't have an extension cab or anything like that. But it's right. full bang for book. The little 112 one, it actually can run an extension cab as well. So when it's on its own, you're getting about 200 watts out of it. So it's still nice and pokey. Man, uh, should nice. be enough for most gigs. But you can add a cab as well if you need to in a sort of bigger situation, then you get the full 300 watts. Great. Um, and yeah, they're going to be in stores around about April, so keep, it, keep an eye out for those. Love it, love it. Wow, man, there's plenty more to see. Let's keep moving around. This is, oh, this sounds really, really cool. This, this little 30 well, watt Well, this, this was a little bit of a challenge for us. I mean, we've been doing a 30 watt valve base head, the CTM30, for a while. But what we thought was, wouldn't it be great if you could have an all valve amp you could actually take on a plane with you? Because obviously a lot of our artists do fly gigs, do fly recording sessions and things like that. But you can't take a valve amp on a plane with you. Yeah. Okay, well now you can. Uh, this is a full tube amp. Come and have a look at this, guys. This is... Okay. So full So you've tube. actually got the full tube power session, which is four AL84s. On this side, we've got special transformers that have been made to lie flat and lie small. You've got a full tube preamp with four tubes in it as well. You can tell we're in America because I'm, I'm splitting between tubes and valves. Obviously, yeah, that's right, it should man. be valves. It's all good. Um, <laughs> and yeah, and it's got even more features than we had on the old CTM30. So you've got a preamp gain, you've got sensitivity for active bases, nice. you've got DI on it, you've got an effects loop, and you can take that on a flight if you stick it in an overhead locker or stick it in the suitcase as we did when we came over here. Yeah. And you've got valve, beautiful valve tone whenever you need it. So nice. they're expected again, they should be in stores around about April time. Price will be around about £699, so really affordable as well. Man, for a full valve, no, it's, it's val crazy. valve base our, our designer said he thought he could do it, so we kind of just said, go on then. Go on, as a challenge. show us what you can do. Um, and like yeah, it. It's astounding, so very, very pleased. So that's the CTM 30 little stubby. Love it. So, and again, anything you've seen here, guys, say, we, keep, we keep a fair bit of Ashdown stuff, but I think there is a certain bits here that we, that we know don't currently stock, so um, anything of interest, just let us know. Okay. Oh, is the geezer free? Let's have a look is at the, the geezer, geezer while we're here now. Okay. Right. Uh, the this, man, the this, godfather of Mel. This story starts around <laughs> about three years ago. Um, when we started doing the rig for Geezer Butler for the end tour, the Black Sabbath final tour. Yep. And we did a monstrous rig for him, which ended up being sort of a couple of different preamps and then 4,000 watts worth of power amps. <laughs> which was insane. Uh, so then, and that was what, what the end tour was. So anybody who went and saw Sabbath on the end tour, who's, who's seen the DVD or anything like that, yes. it's a big Ashdown sound, which, yeah. is, which is killer. And then sort of towards the end of that, we were like, right, 
we should make something a little bit more sensible for the real world. And, and Giza wanted something he could take to do small gigs with. You know, small. Yeah, well, he's, he's going to do a few things now, slab of finish. Yeah. Um, so we started working on the head of doom. The head so, of doom. 600 watts, 3U rat mat. It's the first amp we've ever done, but it has two VU meters. And obviously two VU meters, it's double the fun, isn't it? So it's double, <laughs> yeah. double goodness. Uh, no. So we've actually got an input meter, like we do on most of our amps, and actually yeah. an output VU meter. Okay. Um, the valve overdrive uh, is actually on this amp, specially tuned for Giza, and okay. it's for doom control. Oh, doom, it's got a doom so button and everything. So you have less doom, or more or doom, more doom, depending on what you want to do. Or no doom. Uh, or no doom. But, but, yeah, but why would you want to do that? If you just want to, you've got doom to, button, if you man. Wanted to get it to play funk, you can do that. <laughs> um, okay, and it's got lots of little clever outputs and things on the back. Um, you can slave this amp and connect three or four of them together with uh, isolated inputs and outputs. Great. Which is something Giza wanted. Uh, he was here signing for us the other day, which was pretty lovely. Oh, so man, he's actually he's got... drawn all over the lid of this. Love one. it. Um, is this is it, what is this a this isn't full power? Power valve or anything? Is this a preamp? Pre no, no, valve, that's, that's, that's your full head. So it's 600 watt head. 600 so, watt. Yeah, yeah. Which is will be more than enough for most most people. Um, Absolutely. So, but, but yeah, what's it driven by? Is there preamp preamp stage? There is. To it, uh, yeah, there's is one 12 x 7 in the preamp. Right. And cool. State power amp. Um, nice. And and as as I said, anybody who saw the Sabbath tour, it's a ridiculous sounding rig. Uh, Wicked. And that captures it all in a, in a single head. Love it, man. They're all hand built in England as well. Yeah, so we used to say hand, this. hand built to order, uh, which is what we like to do. We still build stuff in England as much as we can. Wicked. No, um, that's, that's good to know. And I think you were just saying the man, it's uh, it good just got off on our site. So if there's any any geezer fans out there, or oh, say, yeah, anyone wanting to get, want to get involved? Maybe a little bit of a wait, but uh, they're worth waiting for, you know. Nice, man. Wicked. So yeah, anything else around the corner, man? You're saying you've got some. Uh, yeah, the, the some last couple of things to look at is um, our little acoustic amp. So. Ooh. Our founder and managing director used to be at a different company before Ashdown um, 20, 23 years ago. Yeah. And he made the first ever acoustic amps in the world. I can't name the company. Um, but anybody who was around in the late 80s, early 90s will probably recognize these. Um, as these are basically recreations of those first acoustic amps okay, in nice. the world ever. Um, but what we've done is with these is we've halved the weight of what the original ones were, made them a lot lighter. Yep. Um, we've also sorted out the reverb because the reverb on the old ones wasn't that great. Fine. So we've got a better reverb in them. Nice and also one. we've added Bluetooth to them. So Ooh. if you're doing a little coffee shop gig or something like that, you can now sync your phone up via Bluetooth, um, get your backing tracks all that through that. No cables, nice and easy. What are they, the, man? They're like two six-inch yeah, speakers, isn't they're it? they're five-inch speakers, five -inch speakers, which is what the original ones had. Okay. We've actually got Celestian to remake the original speakers from those original combos. Love it. So these are the same original speakers that were in the ones back in the day. Uh, so you've got two five-inches in the 50, which is 50 watts. Uh, and then like the bigger 100-watt one's got four five-inch speakers. Nice. Um, you've got obviously separate inputs. One for your instrument, one for your mic. Uh, master EQ, you've got various reverbs and effects on there as well. Yeah. They sound killer. Uh, Man, I was just fussed seeing the, the weight there. It's not, not there's nothing to it, is there? Yeah, yeah, not bad at all. So, Great. And again, those are going to be in stores around about April. So, yeah. I mean, for more information right away, check out our website, AshdownMusic.com. Of course. I'm sure they'll be appearing on the Anderson site soon as well. Absolutely. Uh, do you know pricing on these roughly? Uh, yeah, the yeah they're just... going to be around about five ninety nine yep. and six ninety nine for the 100. So, okay, lovely. Well priced as well. Brilliant, man. Okay. Well, Lee, thank you so much for your time, man. Absolutely, really pleasure. Brilliant. Always a pleasure to talk to man, you. Man, this was uh, say so this is everything, everything Ashdown. So, guys, say so anything that you you seen here that you're interested in. Everything's been going online. Um, <laughs> oh man, so yeah, just check us out. We're off to the, more stands now. Finish up the front at the, uh, the last bit of the show. So, Lee, enjoy the rest of your time, man. You too. Thank you. And I uh, will see you very shortly. Check out what the other guys are up to. Keys channel, drums channel, tech channel, and uh, subscribe below. And we'll see you soon. Cheers. Cheers.